What's going on everybody? Jake Adams, Reef Builders here, and I find myself in uh, Nuremberg, Germany for uh, the most exciting aquarium show that I get to go to, and that's called Interzoo. So Interzoo is an event that happens every two years. And if you've ever been to a Macna, or if you've ever been to a Reef Palooza, or some of these large shows, multiply it by 10. This is the show that most aquarium companies use to launch a lot of new products, the kind of exciting cutting edge products that uh, we're going to enjoy maybe in a year, maybe in two years. But um, definitely this is one of the most influential shows and it's such a fun time for me to come here and find all the new gear and uh, share it with you guys. So I've had a good walk around at the Ecotech Marine slash Aqua Illumination slash Polyp Lab DD Carib Sea booth. And um, there's some really interesting products here and I thought we could do a quick walk around and show you what they got. So this is the Opus Aquarium by Nios. Now I know there's a lot of new tanks being uh, launched on the aquarium market right now. Uh, a lot of them are the rimless style. They're gonna have the high clarity glass. They got some tricks in the overflow, but Nios really has crafted kind of like their own, their own signature, their own style, their own design with this particular tank. So um, like I mentioned, it's gonna have that high clarity glass. Um, it's a little bit broader from front to back, but one thing that's super hot right now are these uh, flush mounted external overflow box. And inside you'll find um, a lot of silencing features to make sure that you can get a lot of water flow through the aquarium without getting a lot of noise. But if, you're, if you can see the whole thing, the real signature of the Nias Opus uh, aquarium is gonna be this really cool stand. So instead of being flushed with the aquarium and ultra modern with really kind of sharp, hard lines, the Opus stand is what really makes it stand out. And you can see it's a, it's a little bit less of a pedestal, but a little bit more of a kind of a sturdy base. And it's got these cool, uh, soft, rounded corners that just gives it that, that more approachable look, um, just kind of a friendlier, friendlier, softer appearance. And then underneath, uh, they've got a really good sump with a lot of the modern features that you'd expect. It's got some filter socks, you got your big protein skipper chamber and um, some different uh, accessories for uh, auto top off and things like that. So um, this is gonna be a really interesting option in the uh, aquarium market here in the next few months when they launch and um, definitely be looking at one of these uh, for myself in the future. So one of the other products that I got wind of before I even ever came out here is the new Nios Torque media reactor. This is a radically new concept compared to any other media reactor that we've ever seen before because instead of being just kind of a, a static chamber and you bring your own pump where it uses a, an external pump, this actually is uh, sold in two pieces. So the torque base has a pump built in and you can dial the flow in two ways. You can twist this in separate directions to either increase or decrease the flow depending on the media that you're using. And there's a, a, an, an additional adjustment knob on the pump itself if you want to dial it into uh, a little bit smaller range. But what's really neat about the torque is kind of like these plug and play uh, reactor tubes right here. So you use the same base no matter what media reactor you're using, but they have three different sizes. So this is the largest two liter size. And if you're uh, hard pressed for surface area, you can use this uh, divider here, use a little carbon in the bottom, little GFO in the top, or bio pellets or whatever you want. So this is the two liter size. Whoop. And there's some other versions. This is the one liter. You'll see it still has the same base. Is this the one liter? I think this is the one liter. And so what I plan to do for my tank is actually have one of these bases, but I'm gonna have multiples of these so that when it comes time to change this out, I will have another one on hand already preloaded so I can pop it back on. Let's see, it's my first time using it. Pop it back on, take the dirty one, go ahead and service it and clean it. And um, they're not gonna be the cheapest media reactors you've ever seen, but uh, I think there's gonna be super duper popular. Um, I'm really excited about the Nios Torque. So one booth that's really easy to walk by is Carib Sea. Carib Sea carries a 
all of the hands from all over the world, whether you have a freshwater tank, saltwater tank, and even more recently for some planet tanks. But since they have this background in rock and minerals, uh, you know, in recent years, they've offered kind of this, this reef style rock, you know, it's kind of neat, but it's, you know, nothing to uh, write home about. But more importantly, is this uh, man-made rock that they've been building. Um, this is completely artificial. It's got an attractive purple coating. That's all right, we've seen that before. But over here in the corner, you can see that they have these new, much larger structures. And at some of the different shows, like Reef Palooza, we've seen some big vases. There's a, a lot of branch rock here that's really, really cool. I actually kind of like my rock a little bit dense. I don't want it to be super porous. I don't want a bunch of funk to get inside. So these branches are really cool and um, definitely a much more sustainable choice than wild harvest, harvested uh, branch rock. But uh, back to the larger pieces that I wanted to tell you about. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, come on. There we go. Free it up. So this is not for everybody, but they are making these large dramatic structures like big arches. I assume they're going to have some big shelf rocks maybe in the future. And over here, you can see the big cave. I'm just going to hand this off to the invisible guy off screen. There we go. Um, so here's an example of like a big cave. Now, these are not going to be super cheap, but they are going to be super hard, super solid. And so if you have a large tank and you want to do some bigger, larger dramatic aquascapes, a combination of their arches, their shelves, the branch walks and the caves is going to make, uh, make it possible to aquascape a reef tank with really dynamic, dramatic structures, much easier and much safer because it's going to be super solid. All right, so they might not be new, but the AI Primes are still just like such an awesome, controllable, programmable LED. It's one of the few LED lights on the aquarium market that doesn't need any kind of hub. It's got that direct Wi-Fi controllability. And um, what I really like about them is that they're so small, you can put them on this little tiny gooseneck. And um, there's a saltwater version that obviously looks great and has a lot of shimmer, a lot of glitter lines and everything. And there's also a freshwater version for when you want to grow those uh, freshwater plants, get a little bit more of that green and that red. And um, that's also a really good refugium light. So um, the AI Prime, uh, like I said, it's not super new, but it's still a super awesome product that stands out in a crowded floor here at Innerzoo. So right now there's an explosion of new filter styles on the aquarium market that is taking the world by storm. And I, I'd like to think that I had a little bit of a part in it about 10 years ago when I first came to Innerzoo, there was a pond company called Genesis. And they made this big giant box out of PVC and titanium. And it was an automatic filter roll that automatically rolled new filter out to keep the, the water clean. And despite it being for ponds, I got really, really excited about it. And I brought it to Mr. Saxby's attention. He com commissioned them to make a smaller one. And every inner zoo since, we've basically had this progression of new automatic filter rolls um, that stretches back about 10 years. So what these are basically is a chamber where your water goes into and both sides of this filter paper are being clogged uh, by debris and by funk and detritus from the aquarium. And there's a float switch right here that senses when that filter gets clogged and it will automatically spool new uh, filter material to uh, expose more new filter. So what that means is uh, in our tanks right now, we use a lot of filter socks and these are really, really great for polishing the water. But when they get clogged up, they get clogged up and you have to pull them out. You got to clean them out. You got to bleach them. And it's really a pain. It takes a lot of time and it's actually quite expensive. So with filter rolls like these, we can have just automatically crystal clear water, um, a huge filter spool here for the, so you don't have to maintain it nearly as much. But one thing that most people are probably not thinking of, everybody wants a super clear aquarium. We don't want detritus in our tanks. We don't want funk in our sump. But this is actually catching uh, detritus and fish poop and coral waste 
before it can break down into nutrients. So in some ways, this is almost superseding the need for a protein skimmer. So I suspect in the future, we're actually gonna see some tanks that are run without protein skimmers and that are relying on devices like this. So the Clarisy is unique because it has one of the smallest footprints. So it's really easy to stick in the sump. There's uh, some hang on options. There's uh, different uh, controller parts here and there. And uh, these are actually super affordable. I don't know the price right off the top of my head, but definitely this is a, a product to watch, the Clarisy. Not the first one they've made either. This is the second generation. And I actually have one at home and I'm just like this close to finishing up my sump so I can finally try it out. So definitely have to stay tuned for that one. Okay, so I've shown you a lot of uh, very exciting, very ambitious, um, but somewhat sophisticated aquarium products that you know gets the nerds and the diehards, uh, you know, gets our gears turning about what's possible in the future. But sometimes some of the most interesting aquarium products are the most approachable and the ones that are really democratic and apply to a wide range of people. So if you've ever tried to take a picture or video of your reef tank, you know that the really, really blue lights um, are very sensitive uh, to our phones. Our phones are really sensitive to the blue lights. And so one solution that we've come up with is um, the use of these yellow filters that helps to uh, filter out the yellow light. You can see I put a lot of use on this one. I'm not sure where I got it. I get them all the time, but people are always asking me, Jake, where did you get that yellow filter? And I'm happy to report that we finally have a brand name player offering their own coral color uh, clip-on uh, smartphone filter. And so the coral color from DD, let's see if I can open it up real quick. Uh, no, it's backed up. So the coral color from DD actually has uh, two colors. So it's a ye light yellow, there's an amber, and there's a close-up version. So the light yellow is for when the tank is bluish. The amber is for when the tank is like really, really blue. And the close-up is a little bit of a macro lens that I haven't tried yet, but I'm really excited to test out. I'm gonna guess that this is probably around 50 bucks, 60 bucks, depending on your market. But this is a must-have accessory for any reefer that uses particularly LED lights with a lot of blue LEDs. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the Ecotech Marine AI NIOS DD combination booth. I just wanted to show you a couple of different neat things. Um, if you wanna see more interesting reef gear like this, be sure and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video because I have a lot of videos coming from all my international travel. But more importantly, um, definitely check the link in the description or follow this playlist to the more in-depth videos from Ecotech Marine where they're gonna dive in a lot more deeply into all the products that I've just shown you. So there's gonna be one video probably for each one of these little things if you wanna learn more, as well as some of the other products in the range. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe like I already said. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next time.